Most people associate diesel engines and diesel cars with these dirty, smoke-belching cars of the 1970s that were environmentally unfriendly. But here in the medieval town of Steyr, Austria, the diesel engine has received a 21st century makeover. Just over my shoulder is BMW, where they are turning the diesel engine into an environmentally friendly, high-performance, fuel-efficient engine. One that meets the stringent European Union EU4 emission standards. So how do you take the slow, noisy and dirty out of diesel? Most of the cars sold here in Western Europe are diesel. In fact, the number of new cars sold in Austria is about 70% diesel. The trick here is not to drop it on your toes. Like most internal combustion engines, a diesel burns fuel inside a cylinder to release energy. But unlike a regular petrol engine, a diesel adds fuel after the cylinder compresses, which allows it to burn hotter and release more energy. That difference makes the diesel engine more fuel efficient. It does this by compressing pure air to high temperature, injecting fuel into it, and having that fuel burst into 3,000 degree flames, which is fabulous for fuel efficiency. But the resulting heat and high pressures are very hard on the engine. The key innovation here at BMW is that they managed to make an engine that takes all of that and it's still made out of lightweight aluminum. Okay, on to torque. Franz and I are installing the crankshaft inside these engines now. The cylinders will drive these crankshafts in incredible RPMs, thousands of rotations per minute. These crankshafts have to be incredibly strong to withstand the amount of torque that diesel engines create. Torque is rotational force, and when it's applied to the crankshaft, it gives the engine power, and that means acceleration. With extra air and fuel squeezed into each cylinder, the flame inside a diesel engine is incredibly intense. Its pressure pushes down hard on the crankshaft and develops exceptional torque even at low engine speed. So they made the engine lighter and faster. Now it needs to be quieter, and to do that, they had to redesign the piston. The piston extracts energy from the burning fuel and air and uses it to drive the crankshaft. These redesigned pistons move super fast. The piezo injectors insert fuel into the cylinder at the speed of sound. The combination of these two innovative technologies makes them much quieter than those old diesels from the 1970s. Instead of burning fuel outside a flat face, this piston burns fuel inside a recessed cavity. Fuel is injected into hot, swirling, compressed air, and the burn is over in about a thousandth of a second. The combustion is so efficient and effective that the engine that's running on it has better fuel economy, less pollution, and even a quieter sound. Most people would be surprised to know that these diesel engines do about 25 to 30 percent better in terms of fuel efficiency than an average gasoline-powered engine. Now it's time to test this diesel engine out. We want to make sure that the fuel efficiency is top-notch, that the performance is where it's supposed to be. On the factory floor, these engines are revved to about 2,000 RPM to make sure they're running smoothly. Well, our diesel engine assembly is finished here in Steyr, Austria, and we have a little journey ahead of us, a five-hour drive to Leipzig, Germany, where our diesel engines will be installed inside a 3 Series BMW. Practically everything here is automated. Cars float by on computerized assembly lines. Observation platforms overlook huge robotic arms that assemble the vehicles. But these bodies are nothing without their engines. This is like a giant waiting room for thousands of BMW engines. Here's the one we built. This is a six-cylinder diesel. Our diesel engine is now ready for this amazing contraption. We're installing the particulate filter. 
I'm not slowing anything down, am I? It eliminates the soot that used to pour out of old diesels. I know that this goes in here like this. Just a little, right? We just put it in a little like that. This clamp needs to go around here, doesn't it? Oh, we are killing it now. This basically satisfies those strict emission standards, even meeting the California standard. Here's how the particulate filter works. A diesel engine produces particulates because of incomplete combustion. As the fuel is heated during combustion, some of it doesn't burn and enters the exhaust stream as bits of carbon soot. The particulate filter captures these particles and burns them into clean vapor. This exhaust system also rids diesel emissions of nitrogen oxides, which are toxic gases. To do that, they inject something called urea. Yes, it's an ingredient of urine. Urea breaks down nitrogen oxide into harmless nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water. It's a useful breakthrough in diesel technology. There goes our uh, particulate filter right there. Yeah. At this point in the assembly, we are just finishing up the installation of this exhaust system in our 335D. Twin exhaust, two turbos. Thing's gonna haul that Fortunately, BMW has its own test track where cars can be put through their paces. This is a championship 1998 four-cylinder diesel. In fact, this is the first diesel to ever win an international race, and this is the driver who did it, Andreas Bovensipa. How are you, sir? Thank you for letting me play. Andreas attributes his motorsport win to the fact that his diesel is fast and it doesn't need to refuel as often as a regular race car. This car right here uh, can do everything that this car can do. Is that right? Of course, and a little bit more because it's the newest generation of six-cylinder, very efficient new diesels. Let me play a little bit out here. Of course. 